Welcome back to an OrcadX capture tutorial. In this video, we're going to see how to draw and integrate block diagrams into an OrcadX schematic. Block diagrams in OrcadX capture are represented by a hierarchical block, which are in turn a representation of a schematic folder. A hierarchical block, or an H block, functions just like a part with an attached schematic folder. We will create an H block based schematic design for the highlighted blocks as shown. Block diagram representations can be found in component data sheets and reference application notes from vendors. Each block highlighted here represents a functional block which will have its own schematic circuitry. We will start by creating a schematic design for each of these blocks. First, let's create a new schematic design for the wireless server. Once created, rename the schematic to wireless underscore rx. This name will be used on the hierarchical block when placed on the schematic page. Now, place the components and complete the circuitry. Place input and output ports from the place ports dialog. We'll place two input ports and one output port. Now, rename these ports based on the function of the block. These ports will be the input and output pins for the wireless receiver block. Now save the design. Create individual schematic designs for each of the blocks named Linear Charger, 5 Volt Boost Converter, and a 3.3 Volt Buck Regulator. Now save all these designs in a directory. To create the complete system design or block diagram based schematic, we will create a new project. To place the H block, go to the toolbar menu, select place and place hierarchical block in the dialog Specify the reference. This will be a unique ref des for the block to be placed. Select primitive as default. And in the implementation field, select the implementation type as schematic view. Go to the path and file name field and browse to the design file that we created. Select wireless underscore rx. Now for the implementation name field, Click the drop down to see all the names of the schematic folders present in the design. From the drop down, select wireless underscore rx. Click OK. The mouse cursor will change to a draw cursor. Now, simply click the left mouse button, drag it, and release it to complete the H block creation. The H block created will also have pins automatically generated. You can now resize and orient the pins. Repeat the above steps and place other H blocks and connect all of them using the wire function. For peripheral connectors, we will use the connector symbols from the capture library. We will also place ground on the schematic. Now complete all the connectivity to complete the schematic entry. At any point of time, if the user wants to view or modify the implemented schematic of any of the blocks, they can do so by simply double clicking the H block. This will open the implemented schematic design for the block. To go back to the top level design, right click on the schematic page, click ascend hierarchy to return to the top level block schematic. 